Just now I mentioned about the wild card. So we need to take some time to explain what is a wild card. It's a 32-bit number that indicates which bit in an IP address need to be strictly matched and which bit do not need to be matched. So as you can see here, there are two conditions here, strictly matched and do not strictly match. Okay, the matching rules here in binary, zero is matching, one is randomly allocate. Randomly allocate means do not need to match. So a wildcard is usually expressed in dotted decimal. Notation as a network mask is expressed. However, their meaning are different. Let's look into rules number five. In rules number five, we have an action that is denied and we have a source of 10.1.1.1. So as you can see here, we have a wildcard of zero. Here we also have a wildcard of zero and here we have a wildcard of 0.0.255. As you can see from here, this is 0.0.0.255. Now this is what we call the wildcard. Now wildcard have a zero. Zero means that it have to be matched. Just give you one example. In this example, how do I match the network segment address corresponding to 192.168.1.1 slash 24? So as you can see that slash 24 is a subnet of slash 24, right? But how are you going to put that into a wildcard? So for you to do it in a wildcard, first we need to change the decimal in the binary. So this is a binary of 192 and uh, this is a binary of 198, so this is 1 and 1. Now let's look into the wildcard here. So this is our wildcard. As you can see that from this wildcard, we have 1.1, 1 .1, actually it's 11111. So altogether we have 8 of 1. And we know that if we look into the 1, 1 means that random allocation, means that they do not need to match. Whereas if let's say I have a 0 here, zero here and zero here means that all these have to be matched so now i have to match 192.168.1 okay whereas the uh, dot one here i do not need to match do you get what i mean here so again i will just want to reiterate zero means that it's a match one means that i don't care so since that this is zero means i need to match the first three bytes since all behind is one means that whatever number behind here i really do not need to match that is a wildcard if we look into this uh, rules number five you can see that we deny source of 10 1 1 1 1 and the wildcard here is zero zero means that i want to match everything this rules number five means that i'm going to deny only one source if the source is 10.1.1.1 i'm going to deny but if let's say the source is not this IP and any other IP, then it will not match number five. It will go to the second rule, uh, which is rule number 10. Then I'm going to do a deny source of 10.1.1.2 and with a wildcard of zero. Then I have a permit of a source of 10.1.1.0. And if you look into the wildcard bit over here, you can see that we have 000.255. Dot now this is quite interesting. You can see that the 255 here uh, means that I'm going to match the zero, okay? So um, the zero here, as you can see that the zero and 255 over here means what? As long as the network is 10.1.1.0, anything will be permit, okay? What does it mean here? If I have 10.1.1.1, it will be permit. If it's 10.1.1.2, it will also be permit. Now this is uh, quite uh, different from uh, rules five and rules number 10, right? So if you look into the rules number five and rules number 10, as you can see from here, they say that I'm going to do deny, all right, for 10.1.1.1, and I also will deny 10.1.1.2. But then again, I say that rules number 15 is permit. Now remember, I do mention that before, the rules are actually processed from top to bottom. If the process packet number five already denied 10.1.1.1, it will just stop and it will not proceed anymore. So even though on the rules number 15, which is position number three, I do permit you, in essence, 10.1.1.1 and 
which has already been denied on the top of your ACL will be denied. Okay, so I hope you understand this. So on the rules number 15, basically it's just to match anything with 10.110, it will be permit. So anything from 3 to 255, 10.1.1.3 to 10.1.1.255 will be permit. Now, if you still remember on my earlier slide, I do mention uh, to you that if let's say I do not have any other rules, remember that the rules have a imply deny. So which means that if let's say I'm using anything from 10.1.1.0, anything out from this range, all the packet will be denied. Okay, so you have to um, understand how the wildcard and how the rules are being applied. So I just repeat again, rules are applied from top down. Rules have permit or deny. Rules have a wildcard. So the wildcard is to facilitate us to do a matching. Let's just look into another example. Now in this example, wildcard two, a wildcard can be used to match odd IP. Now odd means that um, IP address, which is odd number one, three, five, seven, nine. All these are odd number. So how are you going to do a permit or deny on this odd number? We are not expecting you to put all this line by line. Now that is a trick for this. Okay, so let's learn this together. So I want to match all the odd IP address in the network segment of 192.168.1.0/24, such as you know the example is 1.1, 1.3, 1.5, etc. So I want to do a match. It can be matched to permit or it can be matched to deny. Now let's just look into this example. The first step that you need to do is you notice that the 192.168.1.1, all these are matched. So since all these are matched, the wildcard, I believe that you already know, it will be all zero. Okay, so I believe that this is easy. But how are we going to just match only the odd number, anything with odd number? This is how. First, if let's say we are going to do a, a odd number, you notice that if I change this decimal into binary, so one is one. If it's three, so the binary is one, one. If it's five, it's zero, one, so on and so forth. So if you look into the pattern of the odd number on the last bit. Do you notice that the last bit is always one? Okay, so that is the pattern we observe. Because if let's say the last bit is one, then I'm going to have match all the odd number. For example, if let's say now you look into this uh, example, 192.168.1.1, and my wildcard is 000.254. Now, if you convert this 254 into a wildcard, you get 1111.1110. Now, please be careful. So this zero means what? Zero means that I'm going to do a match. And you also notice over here, this one is one. So I'm going to match one. So if let's say, the last bit over here, if you notice that one is zero 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 one. I said that I want to do a match on the last bit. So let's look into the last bit of my network here is one. So as long as the last bit is one, then I have a match. Well, this is how it works. Ingenious, right? So if you look into the one, you get one. All right, so I want to match. Okay, so I match it. You can match for permit or you can match for deny. It really doesn't matter. The trick over here is how to use the wildcard. If it's a three, it's one one. If it's a five, it's one zero one. Okay, let's just do this together. If let's say now I have, um, okay. So if I have a six, then I will have one one zero, right? If I have seven, then I have one one one. If I have eight, then I have one. Zero, zero, zero. Now remember, this one it doesn't match. This one match. This one doesn't match. So what it mean over here? I only match seven. Okay, All right. So I have one, three, five, seven, and it's go on and go on. As long as the last bit is match, 
because of the zero and my network here is one then I match all the odd number. You get how the wildcard actually work. Ingenious, right?